and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Ramp, which is our third deck here on our Tier 1 Tuesday that we have here, our first Tier 1 Tuesday. So we are playing four very good and popular decks here. That's something that i um, been getting some feedback of people wanting me to play some of like the more standard decks that you kind of see a lot of on uh, Magic Arena. And so that's what we have, like Mono Red, Esper Control. Uh, those are decks that I don't really play very much of normally, because as you know, as you all know me, I like uh, building my my own decks and uh, playing lots of different cards that people don't play too many of. Uh, but today we, we um, we're you know kind of doing a thing where we just have a day of the week set aside for some of the better decks in the format. So these are um, you know deck lists that I would recommend for for people that uh, wanted to play that want to play those those kind of decks because there's a lot of people playing those kind of decks. So anyway, uh, this this one here we have is Bant Ramp. So we've have uh, you know our our mana creature Nissa deck and right now this is where this is the best version of Bant Ramp I believe in the current format. So one th what uh like the ramp decks are kind of struggling with of course like a lot of things is scape shift. Scape shift is just a, a huge part of the metagame right now, most popular deck. And just uh, like ramping into like Nissa making a bunch of three threes against the scape shift deck is fine, but they actually go over the top because they have the ability to make tons and tons of zombies, and so many more than like three threes that Nissa can make. So what I want to be doing against that deck, as the ramp deck, is I want to be ramping into Nexus because they don't really interact with the stack, right? Like they just make a whole bunch of zombies. <clears throat> what I want to be doing is trying to get to the point where we are taking all of the turns of the game, basically. Um, or, you know, like a, a good amount of turns. So that's why we have a couple of Tamios in here and the Nexuses, and we have our digging through our deck with Risen Reefs, Cavalier of Thorns, which is uh, very solid with Nexus because it, you know, gets five cards out of your deck and also helps ramp you. So very good there. And, of course, Krasis that draws lots of cards as well. So that's what we're kind of doing here. We're, we're being a a ramp nexus deck or a fair nexus deck i guess uh if you could say um game one like this is this is our game plan right like that's our we are going hard in the game plan we're not really having interaction we're just trying to execute our game plan very very linear um that game the game one and then post board we have all of our interaction <laughs> as you can tell here um, enchantment removal is starting to become pretty popular and standard. That's why we got a couple of Knight of Autumns over here. Deputy of Detention is a very important card against all those zombie tokens. You know, clear clear up a whole bunch of zombie tokens with Deputy of Detention. Important one there. So we got those. Uh, negates, of course. I am playing a Devout Decree, a card that I haven't really loved in general. But the thing is, is like the, the metagame is kind of small right now. Like the, the Tier 1 metagame, there's not... like. While you do see a whole lot of decks, like there's there's a, definitely a few decks you see more than others, and one of them is Vampires. Like Vampires is a very popular deck, and I really want this Devout Decree to get rid of Soren and Knight of the Ebon Legion, and you know basically all the stuff in Vampires. Like this is my anti-Vampire card in particular. Baffling End also good against Vampires and Mono Red and all the other aggro decks and stuff like that too, and obviously Veil vale Summer. So that's what we have here. Let's uh, give this one a try. No, I, I don't anymore, Bow 99 Oh, no, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. I don't want to play Mono Red. Cancel. Are you kidding me? Ugh. All right, GG's. Man, that was a good matchup for, for that mono red deck too. All these blood suns. Yeah, nice cancel button. Alright, back to Bant Ramp, the deck that we're supposed to be playing in this league. Yeah, too, too strong. Turn one grazer. I've had enough of Scape Ship. <laughs> Can't handle turn one grazer. I've had enough. 
I wonder if that's what my opponent's thinking. Or if my opponent's thinking that I was just like really tilted by them playing Grazer. Alright, to be honest, this, this hand's kind of slow. I did make that keep decision really fast. Kind of, kind of regret it a little bit, but also my opponent mulliganed a ton, so I'm not really regretting it at all right now. I'm glad we're on the play. You know, on the play, turn three, Risen Reef is, isn't the worst. <laughs> if you're ever tired of waiting for a match, just click cancel. You're guaranteed to get paired immediately. <laughs> It's not a bad, that's not a bad trick. Yeah, you could play three mana to fairy mass manipulation um, with this kind of deck. That's, that's certainly an option. I don't think, I don't think it's as good in this specific meta game right now as going the, uh, you know, full on Nexus version, but it's definitely an option as well. Why don't... So you're 627 with two hours left. Any clue why I don't have the icon on profile like most streamers do? Okay, so the, the icon that you see in people's profiles are icons they earned in the previous seasons. Like, the previous two seasons still have... Like, you don't get an icon before the season's over. It's not till like after the season ends and a couple of days after that for them to verify the results and everything. You don't you don't just have an, an icon if you're at a specific number during the middle of the season. Um and it's not yeah, it's not two hours left any yeah, also it's it's more than that, also. Um yeah. I'll take that. I'll just, you know, play my land, play that next turn. So yeah, so so you have to finish the season there first. I wonder how is my opponent blocking this Cavalier of Thorns? Probably not, right? And reminiscing. It may block with Vanguard and pay for life. Just saves them a life. Or not. So I could crisis for six this turn, or next turn I can crisis for eight. I, I draw an extra card if I wait a turn. Just crisis for six. Remember, our opponent was on a mulligan to four. Our hand was pretty good besides not having a one or a two mana ramp spell. Besides that, it was very good. And yeah, they were on their mulligan to four. Let's get some baffling ends. Decree. I'm not sure about deputy. Considering if they're playing, you know, a bunch of removal, which they likely are against mana creature deck. They're probably playing a bunch of removal. So I don't know if deputy would be too good for us. Kind of want to be playing a bunch of negates too. I 
What if I just don't do anything? What if I don't sideboard? So God's willing doesn't get, get rid of these things. What if I just keep ramping up hard? I'm not convinced their deck beats mine. I'm not convinced that their deck's fast enough to beat mine. We'll see. So they snap mulliganed again. Yeah, we'll we'll see, you know, for game three if if we do need to you know, I didn't sideboard here, you know, we'll see if we do need to sideboard. But yeah, I I do like negate against the repeatable spells. I do I do like that. Uh, I guess I'll just go with you. We'll go with this temple later on. It's not like I need to scry for any particular thing right now. So saving the temple for a little bit later on in the game whenever we are looking for something important. Sounds like a good idea to me. But I can go... Yeah, let's get that thing out here. I'll take that trade. Hey, Moose. Making that trade means we didn't get to play the temple there. I was planning on playing the temple that last turn. But yeah, we we were going to be at a lot faster clock if we don't make that trade, because then... Oh, they forgot to attack. Whoops. Even what, Nessa? All right, time to get a lot of cards. That's a card I want. And in with the scry. It's nice. Should have this one. Just be able to play Cavalier Nexus next turn.
Guess I don't know. Maybe we won't. We'll see. Guess they are going really, really wide. Rude. That's that hurts. I guess it's going to my graveyard. The temple doesn't do anything, of course. So I'm going to be shuffling anyway. I guess I could... If... Ah. Uh, darn it. That card's great. Hmm. I should have had the full control a little faster so I could have Nexus first and then shuffled and then scryed. Yeah, I can't I can't just let them attack again. Alright, so going upkeep. Upkeep Nexus so that we put it back into the deck so we have another Nexus to draw into for our draw step. Hey, welcome back. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So if I gain nine, draw nine, are they doing seventeen damage to me? Probably not. Probably not. Wait, no, eighteen. I'm. That means sixteen. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So yeah, I have to do X of sixteen. on the weather. Okay. Deck looked pretty good there for the first game. But our opponent didn't have the best hands. They mold the four, mold the five. Um, I think that attack, I think that it, attack with the that two drop how we got to trade two drops I think that hurt our opponent if they just don't attack with whatever that hasty two drops called the Boros one and then they use it the the next turn to, to kill the Risen Reef and grow it and get the scry in there I don't know maybe they maybe they would have done a little better but we did pretty good there We'll keep. Let's look. We got the Scry land here. Look for like a Risen Reef <clears throat> or another another ramp spell. Something to do on turn three before playing these on four. That was not a good draw. And it's a good card against. It's usually a very good card against Blood Crypt. Mm. 
now I feel a little bit worse for keeping that. These Nissas are not very good in this matchup. But the, the Cavaliers are definitely good. Nissas making just three threes isn't super powerful. Yeah, thing's big. Yeah, you have to, to get to best of three in the client, you need to change your client to show all play versions, all play modes instead of just arena play mode. So look in the top right hand part, somewhere around like this area of the screen and the main screen, it'll probably say arena play modes and change that to be all play modes. The card we don't want to see, of course, is Collision Colossus. I can't play Nexus and Nissa, right? Then two, four, six. No, I'm one mana short. If they have Colossus, I'm going to be dying. We are all connected. The land shall conquer you. That's true. They do have to discard their hand. Never mind. That was good. Yeah, get that Galta out of here. That's a good one. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. That cost thirteen. No, it cost twelve. It cost twelve. So all I have to do is hit a. All I need to do is just hit an untap land with this. Should be able to hit an untap land, right? There we go. Take that one. That should be game. Elements. I guess it was just like lethal without even needing to play the Cavalier Thorns also, but oh well. Alright, Jun Dinos. Let's definitely get this Devout Decree, these Baffling Ends, and these Deputies. We'll take out Tamio. Trim a Nissa or two. Maybe trim like two Nissas. Man, I like Tamio though. I guess Risen Reef is pretty slow for this matchup.
Maybe it's not, though. Hey, Elijah. That makes sense. Take out all the Risen Reefs. Such a good card, though. I'm gonna take out Nexus. Let's see if we do that. The games that we're gonna get run over, we're just gonna be sitting there with the Nexuses in hand, not be able to play them. That's too slow. This is not great, but I don't wanna go down to five. Uh, I liked the the one that I played just a couple of days ago for the Sultai Flash. I liked that version more. Nope, no mass manipulation here. I don't like that attack from our opponent. It let's me kill the Domri. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Not looking good for me coming out here with a win. Coming out of here with a win. Yeah, we're not playing very many white cards. But I think it's worth... I think it's worth playing the three colors. It's very easy to play three colors. It doesn't hurt you too much. Why would you say incoming Galta haste? I can't beat incoming Galta haste. Don't don't give our opponent any ideas like that. All right. So this this looks like this is just like they have Colossus. Like they just make that attack like that. So this should just be Colossus. Which I can't, I can't beat Colossus. I mean, this thing has Trample. It doesn't. Yeah, they just have Colossus. Ugh, least favorite card for me to see from them, Colossus. There's not a block I can make that saves me from Colossus there.
Is Nexus better than Nyssa? Just don't really see this Nyssa helping. Y'all like Nyssa? All right, we'll, we'll give Nyssa a try. That is true, we still, that is true. We, we do have the ability to play Nyssa on turn three on the play here. That could happen. Not with these hands we've been seeing though. I mean, I do like Baffling End a bunch, but Triple Hallowed Fountain. Jeez. The well, last last match is our opponent's turn to mulligan. A bunch. This this time it's our turn. Hey Ziet, what's up? Don't like my chances here. Uh, we haven't found Nexus to be slow without Nyssa. We've been been casting it without Nyssa pretty regularly. Just Cavalier Thorns just gets you to Nexus. Why do they have to be doing this when I mulligan to five? Don't they know I mulligan to five? So I deputy the rotting register. They could just play another Rotting Registrar. I don't want to make them make them discard and everything. <laughs> yeah, have a good night, Dewey. Glad glad you learned a lot here on the on the Tier One Tuesday stream. Happy to hear it. Huntmaster is messed up. Can they have two lands in hand and like some crappy spell? It is that and two lands. No other spells, please. I can't beat Colossus. Good, no Colossus. One, two, three, four, five.
Uh oh. Oh, come on. So six, seven, eight, nine. Puts me down to three there. Jeez, this thing has trample too. Galt is too big. Don't know if I liked our deck after sideboarding. I think honestly kind of think that was just bad sideboarding. That's what it definitely felt like. Our deck was just like slower and crappier. And then, and their deck was just too powerful for us. I kind of feel like I just shouldn't sideboard in that kind of matchup. Also, like the like that's just a race. Also, I can just keep my like keep my Tamio and my good cards in my deck. Tamio is my nexuses. Hey, what's up, Paul? That is awesome. Okay, congrats, Paul. That's certainly unfortunate that we didn't get to block the Legion's Lieutenant. Last turn. All right, I am sideboarding out. All right, yeah, I'm not into these Nissas and these kind of matchups. I'm signing out the Paradise Druids also. Like, if we're going to be taking these things out, I want I want this stuff. I still, like, I want our top end here. I think this is how we win. But, like, instead of having the Paradise Druids, we have interaction. And instead of these Nissas, we also have interaction. We'll have the Veil of Summer protect Deputy at Attention. Ooh. 
Yeah, we can easily ramp into Nexus without... All you have to do is play Cavalier of Thorns, then you're playing Nexus. Yep. Playing Nexus is not difficult without Nyssa. And this is just a whole lot better 5-drop that I'm much more interested in playing than Nyssa. Um... I mean, I'm missing, I'm missing a turn three play. Yeah, Taiga. We played mono red on tier one Tuesday. So yes, that, that means that I think it's tier one. These are decks that I think are tier one. I know I don't have white mana right now, but the Cavalier Thorn should find white mana. I'm still going to go bottom, though. I want to find more Cavalier Thorns, Krasis, Nexus, Tamiya. You know, at this point, I want to find the top end of my deck. Blood was my beginning, and it will be your end. The House Markov grows stronger. Hey, what's up, Chronic Slayer? Alright, see how this works for us. I see a lot of them doing a lot of things with this with this Soren here. This is but a taste of my power. Risen Reef. One, two, three, four, five, six. Darn, one short of playing Risen Reef and Nexus. I'm expecting a double block here with Champion and Adanto. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I probably should play some of those decks, Matthew. That's a good point. I only have enough Mythics for three Vivian or two Vivian, one big Chandra. What would you suggest for mid-range Gruel? Probably the three. Ooh. I guess two Vivian, one Chandra. I guess Chandra's pretty important right now with the Scapeshift X. I 
So if they if they would have blocked, you know, with these two things on the Cavalier Thorns, then I would have gotten back. I would have put another Cavalier Thorns back on top of my library, and then played Risen Reef, played that Cavalier Thorns. Come on, double block, double block. Darn it. Guess I should have just played the Risen Reef first. I mean, I still have to kind of take Soren, because Soren just kills deputy detention. Like if I if I take a Danto Vanguard, then I have Cavalier attack Soren. They chump. Yeah, I I guess I should just play the Resonary first. Okay, well, yeah, kitty, I got punished for attacking there. I was really hoping my opponent was going to double block and kill the Cavalier Thorns. That would have been a lot better for me. But no, they made they made the good block of just paying the four life. Um, yeah, our anti-flash gruel deck did did do really well on YouTube, as you all are saying, but flash is not really a, an important deck right now anymore. Thank you. I am glad they didn't attack with a bunch of stuff. Okay, so what am I going to do here? If they make that same attack, I just chump block with Leaf Kin Druid. Then I play Deputy, take Knight of the Ebon Legion. If they just like attack out, I'm, I'm like dead. They just attack with everything. Six. 
Oh, wait a minute. I guess I gotta play this first. I should take the Sanctum Seeker. I want to take the Vanguards. Not dead yet. But yeah. Yeah, it's not not great for us right now. Ugh. All right, well, they finally figured out to attack with a lot of stuff. Activation Star of Extinction, Risen Reef, and Cavalier of Gales. Wow, that is incredible. They can make a token, triple block, kill my Cavalier. But then I get a Risen Reef back. So I get to draw two cards. alive Zeke Kelly thanks so much for the twitch prime sub there oh no all the crises oh I should have done the resident reef one first I guess because then now this is gonna be the land uh what a killer thanks so much for that support there Zeke I appreciate that our fourth sub of the day sure Get those hype votes there in the chat for Zeke. 
Oh, yeah, that was a killer. Oh, there you go. Subscribe because that's for controls next. Cool. If I, if I grab Krasis and I play Krasis, does that keep me alive? I could also get Deputy and take these Adanto Vanguards. Um, Krasis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I could just do like 6 and gain 3 life. And then I have 3 mana left for like mana creatures and stuff. Yeah, it's it's got to be Krasis. Yeah, it's got to be Krasis. Just going to make sure this thing doesn't mess up auto-tapping. I'm not going to need two blue sources. I may need two white sources. So that's eight. That gets me s gain three. Draw three. Come on. Come on, Arena, you can do it. Should have done eight. Why have I kept the Lord alive? Because the only the only block I've been able to make to to not die is Deputy on Lord. If because otherwise Deputy would have had to block something else, which would have given them the Soren, which would have killed me. It's the only block that I've been able to do to stay alive. Let's keep Legion Lieutenant alive. I haven't had I haven't had any other options. As far as that's concerned. Deputy of Attentions have Deputy of Attention has has had to be blocking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have five mana left. It's better for Cavalier Thorns to die.
Of course, they don't have to activate night. I hope they do, though. Hmm. Did not activate night. Alright, we're going to have to draw something here. Come on, deck. Okay, that's a draw. Alright, so we go grab Deputy and clean up these vanguards. Or I gra go grab Krasis, and Krasis is 1, 2, so then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So Krasis would be... Gain three, draw three again. And gain three is not good enough. So it looks like we're on deputy plan. Every story is an opportunity for new data. I have not played Esper yet. We're gonna be playing that next. The past is never forgotten. Yeah, I mean, I ha I did have I had a sixteen percent chance of hitting Nexus if I would have just gone for if I would have just ticked up and go for Nexus. Sixteen percent's not a ton. If I attack, I'm dead to Soren. I think I can say no attack. It was just a tad better than 16%. It was like 17, 17 and a half, something like that. No, I'm not dead to Soren, right? Because like Soren only does three damage. If they Soren and kill one of my blockers, it doesn't kill me now. Hey, Kronos. Seek and find. All right, so four out of, so we get to look at four cards of 22. All right, where's Nexus? No! Oh, whiff. No, we are so close. All we needed was the Nexus that turn. We just needed that turn. Well, <clears throat> we still, they, they don't have lethal yet. They'd have to have something else. But next turn I get to minus the Tamiyo and get back like Krasis. And we're probably good after this, but they only have two coming in here. Okay, that's not bad. I can beat that. Honestly, I really should be playing the land here, but I, I'm just... It's, it's definitely better for me to play the land. This is still game two? Yeah, we're almost, almost decked ourselves. No, yeah, vampire decks have removal for sure. All right, we'll make the obvious blocks. Let's see if they have a Soren to kill me.
Honestly, it may be maybe better just to grab Cavalier Thorns. Honestly, from here. No, I guess it's Krasis. Yeah, it's Krasis. Yeah, it's Krasis. Yeah, Cavalier does make make finding Nexus pretty trivial. Yeah, I guess it was Cavalier. I was thinking like Krasis because like maybe Cavalier could be hard getting through, but it's it's not. No, it it would it should have been Cavalier. Okay, what what I was thinking isn't really a thing. So I was thinking I needed like another flyer kind of thing. That's not really a thing. So I it was wrong. It should have been Cavalier. But anyway, um, one, two, three. I can do X is three. I have to do X's two. Yeah, I I like going for Nexus first here, so that if we if we hit it, we're just good. If we miss, I can just go for a really big crisis and just gain a lot of life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go for twelve. Just gain a bunch of life. I just gotta sit back for a turn. Make sure we stay alive. And then we got the rest of the turns of the game. And we have like infinite cards because of Tamiyo. So this game should be over. One way or the other. Oh no! That's five damage to me. So if they have Soren also. No, Hawkeye, no. If we lose this, because we whiffed on hitting Nexus, whenever we have 18 cards in library twice, <laughs> and out of four Nexus, and we whiffed twice with Tamiyo, and we lose this, that's going to be really sad. Okay. All right. Take another turn. Take another turn. I think you will find my notes helpful. More turns. All right, we did it. Game game three. Uh.
<sighs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to play a little faster. What it said I had 14 minutes left for this game, so we're, well, we're at halfway through our time. We've already played two games, we only have one game left. Oh, so close to being good. Uh, sure. We're gonna. We got lots of green sources, we'll draw one. We're on the draw. Don't want to go to five cards. See? Always at it. Hands great. Our opponent's down to 13.30. We're ahead on time now. I could come into play here. If you threaten Innistrad, I will take it personally. Same. My bloodline flows through you. This. These childish games bore me. No noxious grasp. Bad. Bad noxious grasp. Bad Noxious Grasp. Definitely feels like another instant speed removal, another removal spell for them. I think I'm just going to deputy the vanguard. It's the the safest thing for me to be doing to to stay alive. Unless they have, like, seal away here, and they're like, ha, I wanted you to tap your deputy attention. I got it now. That's fine. Stop with the vanguards. Oh, you garden. Anyway.
that's good. So I go down to six here. Six is not very much life. Uh, thanks, Kosar. Glad you liking the playlist. Trog! Keeping on that three month. Thank you so much there, Trog. Woot, three months. Been super fun. Love the channel, the content, and the chat. Thanks, Todd, for the good times. Oh, you're welcome, Trog. Thanks for thanks for being here and taking a part of all of it with us. I appreciate that. So I I have options here. Either hold, play play this for six, and then have no Veil of Summer, or go. But then we draw an extra card and gain an extra life. Or I just do five and no Veil of Summer. Then we lose lose out on a card and a life. So with the vampire deck, like the one I played earlier, if you're going best of one, I'd recommend playing one Ajani, one um, Vona in the main deck instead of playing two Ajani. I'd, re I'd recommend just playing a Vona also in best of one. Well, their Champion of Dusk was a little better than my Hydro Crisis. I'm gonna hold on to this Leafkin Druid in case we draw uh, Risen Reef. Stop. Does mean if I draw a Nexus though, they're dead. Ooh, their timer's at 9 minutes. I'm at 10.41. Gotten ahead. Stop. I have arrived. Continue, uncultured monsters. This is but a taste of my power. Man. If only they didn't draw that sword, I would have been able to kill him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I could have chomped with deputy. They would they would get another Soren activation. Hey, you stop. Stop. That guy's going crazy here. Not liking our chances here. I wonder if I should have just chump blocked with the Cavalier instead of the Leafkin and got back Deputy. Yes, there was death. Yes, the Vanguard had death touch last turn. Darn it. Should have grabbed deputy attention. Yeah, I'm I'm cycling the veil here. Keep drawing nexuses. We need to draw one more. Come on, deck. One more. One more Nexus off the top. Come on, deck. Nexus. Wow. Hawkeye, you're so good. I know, Hawkeye, you're awesome. Way to go. Good job, Hawkeye. 
Here, fight the pencil, not me. Stop biting me. Ooh, two and one. Oh, and Hawkeye's aid. Coming through there. Extra turns. Okay, new match. Man, that match took took a little while. This looks like Nexus here that we're playing against. Is it better to play Tamio first? And have Like let's say let's say we're playing against Nexus. Is it better just to play Tamio here and just start ticking up naming Nexus? I kind of feel like it is. Dueling you will be excellent, Risa, to the library. Gotta take all the turns before they do. Nissa wouldn't be a bad card to see either. We'll go Cavalier Thorns next turn. Then we just we have to. Or we don't even need to draw a land because we have. Ooh. Or maybe I just go next. I guess I just do that. Um. I know I noted this somewhere. Behold, nature's true power. Where's the better Nexus deck? We're just the faster Nexus deck. All right, let's get Deputies and Knight of Autumns. And the gates. That's just going to slow my deck down, though. Like, is it. Is that even worth doing? I guess this, this matchup, maybe it is. They're probably fast. They're probably faster than me normally. I just had a really sweet hand with having turn three Tamio. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like dropping Krasis. I like that. But what else are we dropping? Risen Reef? Uh, Cavaliers are not, they're not slow. They're very good. Still, right? Because, like, they mill five, so, like, they they, really, they get you closer to Nexus by milling five and ramps you. Feels like Cavalier is good. Yeah, maybe I just cut some mana creatures with having all this interaction. Maybe, like, one Cavalier and the Druids. Still have eight mana creatures. Yeah, Voracious Hydra could be a yeah. That, that's a certainly a reasonable sideboard card. Yeah, as a catch-all removal that doubles as a threat. Yeah, that's, that's definitely reasonable. Voracious Hydra is a good card. I wish I had the, the two one. So Paradise Druid's a lot better in this scenario of like attacking, but Leafkin Druid's just better with Risen Reef. Maybe I should just be playing the Paradise Druid. I don't like I'm not liking these cards in my hand right now. <laughs> My opponent's not playing anything. I want them to play stuff. Kind of would rather be having like Paradise Druids and Krasises. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. All right, we got three pair. Not sure if our opponent can beat three pair or not. I think I'm going to take out the Deputy at Attentions for game three. Deputy versus Blast Zone is not, it's not a good, that's not a good fight for me to be fighting. Didn't have didn't have a clock here, so yeah, I think I'm gonna take out the deputy attentions again. Especially seeing all of these um, all these chemistry's insights drawn from dreams. They have a good amount of card draw. And card advantage, it's not permanent based.
They're growing a bunch of negates in Vale of Summers, too. Screw that. Let's get my creatures back in here. Creatures are cool. Should be playing three Leaf Can Druid, three Krasis, I think. Yeah, maybe I should have just played. Yeah, I could have played the Knights as four threes. Definitely could have done that. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Seek and find. The storied past holds our future. All right, slow him down. Let me aid your research. Go ahead, player chemistry's in sight. Nope. Hey, I've had. So yeah, the ruling against Nexus on Nexus stacks, you want to no, the the last one resolving takes the first turn. So like let's say I cast Nexus and then my opponent responds with Nexus. Okay, yeah, so it's the last one resolving. So like theirs will resolve first, it says take another turn, then mine resolves, and it says take another turn. So mine resolves second, so I will take the, the next turn first. So you want you want yours to resolve last, but I did that because they they don't have the mana here to cast another nexus, so I didn't have to worry about it. I think you will find my notes helpful. I still I have the next turn also, so I can just cast the Nexus here if they counter it, whatever, I got the next turn. But I think it's probably better to be ramping. I set it backwards.
Okay, yeah, I, th I thought... I'm pretty sure I said it correct. But who knows? So I should have the next turn still. See my opponent like taps out for a chemist's insight thinking that they have the next turn. If they forgot about that. Well they're they're dead now. Alright, so I'm gonna upkeep Nexus to make sure I draw it again. But yeah, they forgot that I had the next turn again. All right, three and one. One more. Well, I mean, they yeah, they need to they need to hold up fog. You know, if they had a fog or something. Love having the Temple of Mystery here. Do a little bit of scrying here on turn one. So we would have been out at 99%, but I I joined with the wrong deck at the beginning of this, so I had to so I just conceded a match at the beginning of the video here. So we're back to where we started because it thinks that we were 3-2. Ooh, well. Guess I'm doing that. We'll do temple next turn. The mirror match. The mirror match. No, I've been really, really happy with having the four temples, honestly. They've been very good for us. Are we playing the exact mirror? Uh-oh. Well. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Triple Risen Reef? It's like never, ever happened before in the history of life. Tamiyo's never hit three cards before, ever. Uh, we're kind of failing here. You could use some manners. I don't know who said that we won't fail, but we're kind of failing. I'll save Leaf Kindred in case we draw a Risen Reef. That is the that is a world record right there. That has never happened before. Leaf Kindred, you just kind of suck. 
There's like not really any reason to play you or, and also not play you. Like there's just no reason to do either. I guess playing you is better than not playing you. All right, I'm on the. The land fights for us. That's game. Rise, my elemental friend. <laughs> Man, see, Nexus is great. Card's really good. All right, sweet life. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have just attacked with the O3 there also. Uh, Nexus has been a lot better than mass manipulation for us. I don't know. Manipulation would have been good at sometimes too, but we would not have bet we would not have beat the other Nexus deck if we were playing manipulation, that's for sure. Yeah, we're doing tier one at Tuesday here, Gabriel. No, not everybody likes the decks that we're playing board. But there are uh, people that really like these tier one decks and play them a lot and and want to see uh, the versions that I'd be recommending and stuff, and so that's what we're doing today. We could definitely lose this, you know, like this is a mirror, this can go, we're, co we're, coi we're flipping coins here, this can go either way. I do like our hand. Oh, no. And looks like we are getting the playback, you know, we're on the draw, but no two drop for our opponents, definitely good for us. Or they just had the hint of, oh man, they are, they are in trouble. We need land. We got land. Now we're doing great. I can see Cavalier of Thorns being a better play than Nexus for next turn. I like Esper Control more than Esper Hero. Which I, you know, we're going to be playing Esper Control later. I, I like my Esper Control list that I have there. Um... I think I went to Cavalier of Thorns. This, yeah, yeah, we Cavalier of Thorns in. We Thorns in. I like doing the Thorns ability first, because the Thorns ability gets rid of five cards. And then, so then the Risen Reef ability has a better chance of hitting Nexus. After you get five cards out, out of the deck. But I guess I'm one mana short from Nexus for right now. I keep on drawing these Nisses and Krasises. Night. I don't really know why I just attacked with the Risen Reef into the 1-3. Well, 
but oh well. Don't get sloppy, okay. <sighs> I think that second one was a land. For how it played there. Okay, it was a glacial fortress. Stop. No, no, no. Could have had a Risen Reef trigger here. Behold, nature's true power. Jeez. So it turns out Nissa with uh, Nissa with Nexus is a good combination. GG's OMG. So yeah, sorry about the lands there, especially game game two. That was rough. There. GG's though. Okay, so that's our that's our that's the uh, Bant Ramp deck that I'd be recommending these days. Um, Vampires is kind of rough. I feel like maybe we could use like a, a sweeper kind of card in here instead of just Baffling Ends and Devout Decrees, maybe. It didn't seem like we needed all of the negates. Maybe we don't need like four negate. Uh, maybe like, you know, just like two negate and like two other cards against aggro kind of thing. Maybe, maybe that there. Um, I'm not sure if I want like Time Wiper Cleansing Nova because like we're playing all these creatures and like those don't kill Adanto Vanguards. Settle, yeah, Settle is an option. Um, maybe just play like two Manipulation or like, or two like Entrancing Melody. Or two manipulation in the sideboard. Maybe something like that. Maybe like have the ability to like be able to play mass manipulation against those kind of decks. I could certainly see that. Honestly. But yeah, this deck felt felt pretty good. Like Nexus was just awesome. And Cavalier Thorns was just awesome. And just like, you know. You know, basically just ramping hard, playing a bunch of nexuses. Didn't have any nonsense stuff like like manipulation isn't always that great. You know, like when you, when you have like six mana, manipulation on one thing is fine, but the nexuses felt a little better. But there we go. That's Bant Ramp. Yeah, could play the Cyclonic Rift, honestly. Yeah, I, I don't mind that at all. We could have two of two Rivers Rebukes. River's Rebuke is, is a pretty solid card against the Scapeshift decks also with, like, you know, all their zombie tokens and then, like, enchantments and stuff. I Yeah, I don't mind River's Rebuke at all. Maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, that could be the thing, too. 
Anyway, there we go. That's Bant Ramp. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this one. And of course, uh, if so, don't don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there, like always. Um, but uh, there we go. That's that's Bant Ramp. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.